Hi, so welcome back for another video lecture. So this is just a continuation from the previous video nga ako ang gi, um, record and upload ganina lang. So this is modifications on Mendel's classic ratios. So uh, I think I've mentioned this before no nga when you talk about uh, Mendelian genetics, it's also known as classical genetics. And then uh, we also have modern genetics. So part of it we will be talking about modern genetics. But on half kay after na kay I am just trying to cover uh, the topics that we will be including for your pre-final exam. So I think this is the last set of topics nga coverage for your pre-final exam. So these are the modifications on Mendel's classic ratios. Now, nganong gitawag siya nga modifications on Mendel's classic ratios? So if you could remember sa monohybrid or dihybrid cross, if kabalo na mo sa, actually naan siya hack or pattern, no? If kabalo mo sa genotypes between the parents, nara pa lang, ma-identify na ninyo kung unsay ratio nila, genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio. For example, sa monohybrid, if kabalo ka nga both parents are heterozygous, so automatically, ang genotypic ratio ana is always 1 is to 2 is to 1. Okay? And then the phenotypic ratio is always 3 is to 1. For example, another example, if one of the parents is heterozygous and then ang isa ka parent is homozygous, Ang ratio ana both genotypic and phenotypic uh, ratio is always 2 is 2. Okay? So uh, but then there are some patterns of inheritance that exist in nature nga dili siya ma-explain sa uh, or dili siya ga-coincide sa ratios gikan sa pea plant experiments ni Mendel. That's why they are called modifications. But still they follow the uh, they follow some kind of basic concepts from Mendelian genetics. The law of dominance is still there. The law of independent assortment is still there. The law of segregation is still there. Okay, so there are three. We will be talking about incomplete dominance, codominance, and multiple alleles. So not all patterns of inheritance can be described using Mendel's laws. So I, I was able to um, say this earlier. Lang, no? So sometimes inheritance patterns are more complicated than simple dominance because uh, there are mga urban organisms that demonstrate this um, other patterns of inheritance. So let's start with incomplete dominance. So it happens when one allele is not completely dominant over the other allele. Okay, so para dili mo ma-confuse, naaya po dominant nga allele, naaya po recessive nga allele. But then, ang dominant allele is not completely dominant over the other. Kaya nga, incomplete dominance, not completely dominant. So, unsay resulta ane? So, it often shows a heterozygous phenotype that is intermediate between the two homozygous phenotypes. So, when you talk about intermediate, Pasabot ana ang ilang ma-produce ng offspring is actually the blending between the two phenotypes. Okay? So this means that the traits have blended in the offspring. So, for example, in four o'clock plants or uh, the mirabilis uh, plants, no? So, as you can see in this uh, set of diagrams here, uh, the red flower is dominant over the white flower. Okay? So, if, if the two flowers were to produce, instead of producing a red or a white flower, they produce a pink flower. Diba? If you could if you could notice, it's the combination between red and between white nga color. Okay? So, pink. As you can see in these pictures, there are red flowers here, there are yellow flowers, there are white flowers, and then we have the pink flowers. Okay, this is another very good example. So, as you can see, na mga uban flowers, no, nga kanang combination siya like um uh for example this one right here can in color white and then ay murag stripes na purple or this one right here combination of purple and yellow and then this one right here uh, ang half kay yellow and then ang half kay purple so that's um incomplete alleles okay so again na ay dominant na allele na ay recessive na allele but then the dominant allele is not completely dominant over the other that's incomplete alleles the second one is codominance from the term co it means both of them are dominant okay so both alleles contribute to the phenotype of an organism so it's still actually the same thing uh, na blending nagakahita bo sa phenotype sa offspring so for example in cattle pure red hair is dominant 
among them and then pure white hair is also dominant among them so what will happen if these two organisms mate and produce an offspring so instead of producing a pure red haired cattle or pure white haired cattle they would produce a pinkish brown or we call it roan okay so kanisha roan so roan is basically a combination of both the red and white hairs so this is what it looks like in uh, yeah like an actual picture of an of a cattle nga na iron nga uh, phenotype. So that's codominance. Don't be confused ta. Ang codominance, both of the alleles are dominant. Kibaliwalay recessive na allele sa ila. Okay? Okay, it is also being shown among chickens. So white feather chickens kay dominant yapon siya and then black feather chickens kay dominant I mean black, white feather and black feathers among chickens kay they are both dominant so what will happen if these two will produce an offspring so instead of producing a white feather chicken or a black feather chicken it would produce a speckled chicken okay so it's a combination between the white and the black feathers so that's co-dominance and then we have the multiple alleles from the word multiple Daghan, diba? So these are alleles nga daghan kayo siya o phenotype. If you could remember Mendel's p plot experiment, he just studied traits with, I mean, he just studied characters with two contrasting traits lang. For example, sa flower color, diba? It's either purple or white lang gina siya. For seed color, it's either green or yellow lang gina siya. For um, stem length, it's either tall or short lang gina siya, diba? But there are organisms or species that exist in nature nga uh, ang ilang mga alleles could code for multiple phenotypes or many phenotypes. So this type of inheritance involves more than two phenotypes for a particular trait which happens when an organism has more than two alleles for the trait. So you'd be able to observe a mixture of dominant alleles. So for example, in rabbits, there are four different alleles. So these four different combinations would also mean that there are four different phenotypes. So for example, right here, so we have the big letter C's, capital C and capital C. So that's the wild type or the brown fur. And then we have small letter C and then we have CH, small letter C, CH. So that's chinchilla or we have the black tip, white fur. And then we have small letter C and then H, small letter C and H, that's Himalayan or the white fur with black paws, nose, ears, and tail. And then we have small letter C, so CC, that's the albino or the white fur. Okay, so these are the four common uh, hair colors among rabbits. So as you can see, yang alil kai is just letter C, but then there are four uh, genotypes. Okay. I mean, uh, for uh, phenotypes, kibali. And then we have the an, another good example of multiple alleles, kay a human blood type system. So humans have four different blood types. We have A, B, A, B, and O. So these are the alleles for each specific blood type. If we have blood type A, so muni siyang allele niya. So ang allele for blood type is represented by uh, capital letter I and small letter I. So if blood type A, then you have I and then A. You have, if you have blood type B, you have I and then you have letter B here. And then if you have blood type O, the allele for that is letter I. Okay. Again, now when you talk about allele, it's a lang ka alternative form of a gene. But when you talk about genotype, it's the combination between the between the alleles nagikan sa imo mama, nagikan sa imo papa. Okay. So, for example, if you have type A, these are the possible genotypes. You have I A I A or this one right here. I A and then I small letter I. And then you have type B. So you have IB, IB, or IB, and then small letter I. If you have type AB, so we have I, A, and then IB. And then you have type O, you have two small letter I's. So, which makes sense, guys, no? Nga ka nang, natay ginatawag nga universal donor, universal receiver. No? So, basing from the genotypes pala, daanin mo siya mailhan. Okay? So, that's it. As you can see, there are six genotypes and four phenotypes that can be derived from the three alleles of the human blood type system. Okay, so that is all. So these are the topics that would uh, be covered for your pre-finals exam. So please um, try to uh, 
read and analyze your lesson packets and then uh, if if kulang ka pagid mo please watch until the end of this video para you know mahayagan po mo ginagmay lang okay so thank you so much for watching you will be updated with um, another uh, video lecture for another topic na po okay so thank you everybody god bless and stay safe bye